I'm very excited to go to fight in Australia with my opponent, Israel Adesanya. This is the great fight because this is the great challenge for me. I think in any combat sport, there's a bit of a history of the older fighters being fed to the younger fighters. Do you think that's what the UFC are trying to do here? You know, everybody talking about that, but the new talent come. It's natural. Okay. I need to thank you God for staying in shape for fight for these young guys, you know, because it's not easy. And let's go see what happened in Australia. Assuming that you win against uh, Israel, do you have a preference on uh, a style matchup for Whitaker and Gastelum? No, I just, my focus now is just for this fight. The future is the future. Hopefully I come back to fight for the belt again. We'll see, we'll see. I feel so happy, bro. You know, it's my first time in Australia. I have a lot of fans in Australia. And uh, especially because I need to see the sharks. Sharks before the fight or sharks after the fight? You know, that's the point I tried to talk Dana, but Dana said, no, 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 please go see the sharks when you don't the fight. Okay, all right, okay, I go. But I'm very scared because now it's easy for talk, but I don't know why I have hard for go to inside the cage because it's just imagining the sharks come very close. In. I'm back. Man, the shark looks like, mm, the big seal. Okay. Now it's time to eat. Everybody, go watching this fight in Australia. Let's go. Get this work. Now we're at Orange Coast College, about to get some sprint work, get some sprints on the track. Um, you know, I usually do this about twice a week for Chad. I'll be fighting Rob Whitaker, UFC 234 for the middleweight championship of the world. It's been a long time coming in Australia, in his hometown. So we're going to be making the trip soon. And uh, I'm excited for it. Hey, we're going full. Full blast ahead on it, man. Take advantage of this opportunity. Don't come around too often. And so we, we plan on taking that and, and, and riding with it until the wheels fall off. Three, two, one. Huh. There you go, there you go. Kick, kick, kick. He's so hard, he's so hard. Uh, we're getting in uh, the last of his work for this camp, which is anaerobic sprint work. So we're gonna be doing uh, some 200 meter sprints, all out effort. All the way through, all the way through. We're coming down the home stretch and he's looking really good. No matter how good shape you get, these don't stop sucking. I love this matchup. I've actually been following Rob's career for a little while already. And I always thought, like, I think him and I would be a good fight. Just because of his style. He doesn't look for the takedown. Neither do I. We're going to stand up and bang, man. It's going to be a good fight. So, first, I always pack my underwear and my socks. That's the usual go-to. Underwear and socks. You cannot go without. Got to make sure I have everything for the two weeks that I'll be there. And I'm, You know, we just don't know. It's a new environment, so... We just have to make sure we're, we're ready to do our best. Don't forget this, please, KJ. My, my, my panda, I cannot <laughs> forget my panda. I always got to travel with my panda. That's <laughs> <Us> too. <laughs> Don't quit, suffer now. Live the rest of your life as a champion. You know what I mean? So many times I wake up and I'm like, gosh, do I really want to go to practice? Then I look over at my window and I'm like, yeah, I want to be a champion. You know what I mean? And then this one was Rocky. Although he's a fictional character, to me he's my favorite boxer of all time. For me, it was it was more than just a movie, and it means a lot for me to have this. 
Ready? One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Gee whiz. Ouch. It's great being able to fight and defend in, the, in, in my home country, you know? It makes a big difference not having to, to go early and then make a routine there and find a gym. And having my family around during this period, like the 10 days out from the fight is, means the world to me. You know, it makes me comfortable. It, you know, my family is the reason why I do this. You know, I think it's gonna give me a definite edge. They remind me of monkeys, <laughs> like chimps, and the camera crew's there. Jack, what are you doing? Just wait, I'll make you a sandwich. Okay, I'm feeling really good about Rob's fight coming up. He's done everything he can, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, for him to be the best person, stepping inside that octagon he can be. But for me, like at the end of the day, the belt is just a, an acknowledgement of all his hard work. It's not the belt that makes me happy and proud of him. It's what he does day in and day out. Yeah, I'm pumped to, to be getting back in the octagon. I'm excited to see how I've improved as a fighter, how that last fight has, has, has made me a better fighter. He's making the biggest mess. John, let me just put on. Um, Look at the way he's eating like a barbarian. Gaslam's a, he's a top contender in the middleweight division. He, he's very well rounded, he's hungry, he's young, he's, he's very high caliber. But, uh, you know, this is. This is my belt, you know, this is my division. I think I'm gonna to be too much for him. I think I'm better than him. And uh, you know, I look forward to, to, to testing that.